Hello everybody, here we are again on part 2. Let's go on and start our new game. Now, like I said in the previous video, you probably don't have all these maps, you'll probably just have these two, and that's good. That's what you want. Now, if you want to play with multiple people, like I, like in the previous description, go on and click in this description below to join to see how you play with your friends on your own server, basically. Now we're just going to go on and go to GM Construct. So let's join this. And let's just go on and skip to where we started playing. Because this might take a while seeing how I have so many add-ons. Let's go. Alright. Here we are. We just joined. Now then, your gun, you see a, you have some sort of gun. That's called a physics gun. Which you can see here. Which you, when you scroll, you have a list of all your weapons. Let's see, I have I have an RP or a crossbow. I have also I have a Magnum. But right now let's stick with a physics gun. Yours will probably be a light blue. If you want to change that, just go ahead and press C, play your model, and click colors. Okay, you can change the color of your character, you can change the color of your physics gun, whatever I want it to be and you can change the color or you can change your player model now if you download a player model this is where it'll go but like I said that's not in this tutorial that'll be later on but that's for the physics gun right here okay and then you have to hold C while you're doing that by the way if you're wondering okay and so next we're gonna want to do is press Q when you press Q you get a menu well you have to hold it too and you'll have a list of items you can scroll up and down and you have several you can go to comic props here and any valve game you have here it'll all be there so if I want counter-strike characters weapons map props right now let's just stick here I mean there's even Team Fortress 2 but like I said we'll just start out with a barrel okay here's a barrel so if you click on if you aim your cursor at it or your crosshairs at it, and click it, you you see a laser beam go towards it, and it highlights the object. If you're still holding your mouse, you can move up, down, you can do anything with it now. Okay, you can walk, you can sprint via shift, and you can scroll to move it clo further, scroll to move it clo or inward, or you can press E, uh, or yeah, E, then W, to move it forward, or E and then S to hold it, to move it backwards, or E and D to rotate it, and E and A to rotate it as well. Okay, that that is uh, well, basically the basics. If you right click, as soon as you right click, it'll just freeze. If that object is frozen, you can't move it by hitting it. You can't really do anything with it. It is frozen there. Okay, to unfreeze it, I can just click it and hold it or I can just click it and it'll fall okay These, that's just about it you can press E to rotate it and, or you can press shift E and you can rotate it around like so it'll go to the nearest 90 degree angle when you do it like that which is lovely whenever you can't get it exactly straight like that it's just barely crooked. Come on. How am I, what am I going to do? Control E, or not control, sorry. Shift E, and then you usually have to right click too. Because if you don't, it'll just do this. Well, not that. Sorry. Hang on. See, if you do it, don't do it, it usually goes back. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Uh, test around with that, uh, you can get pretty creative. Okay, and so you also have what's called Okay, using the same barrel, it's, it's no different. I can press and hold right click. But once I have it this close to me and it's right in front of me, I can let go of right click and just hold it in front of me. Okay. However, the physics or the gravity gun, you can't change the color of, so don't try. Okay, and if you left click, you can shoot it. And bam. 
Okay. Well, you don't even have to hold it. You can just sit. And it'll... Go... Away. Okay. Or you can just right click and just drop it. That's really your option. On some servers, you can just press E and you'll pick it up. Or, like on TTT, you'll have to take out your little stick thingy and you'll have to press E on it like that. Okay, there's also F for flashlight and well that's actually just about it for this part two. Part three will probably be a bit longer because we're gonna try to hit most of the tools. Well, I mean most of the basic tools anyways. So go on and uh, wait. Not yet. Don't go. One last thing I want to hit. Let's say I spawn in Brain here. Because, you know. And I can... He's a ragdoll. I can only pick up one limb with this fizz gun. Okay. I can rotate it by pressing E and doing whatever you want. But it only moves his hand. So let's say I pick up his head. And I can freeze it there. Or I can pick up his arm and freeze that somewhere else. Take his leg, freeze that over there. Take his other leg, freeze that over there. Take his other arm and just put it right there. Alright, he's looking pretty good right now. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I mean, I think he just got stuck in it. Anyways, okay. Now, I don't want to have to go through and just completely just find all those again. So what you're just going to want to do, select one part of him, and then reload. There you go. And the whole thing just becomes unfrozen. It even tells you how many objects you unfreeze. So... Bam. Unfrozen. So... Okay, now that's the end of this tutorial. Okay, go on and go to part 3 to continue on with your... this stuff. And I'll see you guys there.